Hi everyone, I have my friend and fellow artist Jeff White here in the studio with me today. Hi Jeff. Thanks. Hi Marla. Thanks for coming. Well thanks for the invite. This is really exciting. Jeff and I have a group show at Art Elements Gallery in Newburgh coming up in actually in a, in a few days, right? We're taking the work there. We're this, getting down this, to the wire. Yes we are. So the show runs March 6th through April 14th and we'll be there with um, the two of us and another artist, Jackie McCartan. So um, anyway, we're here just to promote the show and to just kind of talk about our process and why we're excited about it and what we're bringing and all that good stuff. Painting so, and yeah. all of it. Yep, yep. So Jeff and I have known each other for quite a while and uh, we've spent a lot of hours at uh, booth shows talking yep. to one another so we're we're used to the sitting <laughs> we, and and chatting yeah just <laughs> shooting the breeze yes that's right and we even went so, to the same school together yes we did not at the same time no that's right that's but, right when were you there we, we we went to art center college of design in pasadena california which was yeah. a really great experience for yeah. me yeah it was great yeah. yeah for me too for me too um when were you when there we, i think 80 Six to ninety, somewhere. I was on oh. the five-year plan because oh. we had kids. Oh, okay. So that yeah, really yeah, kind of yeah, took yeah, us yeah, down a, yeah. a longer pathway. That's right. Yeah, I was there in eighty-one to eighty-three. Oh yeah, you're ahead of me. Yeah, but I was eighteen when I started. Oh. So <laughs> I was just a young kid, really too young to be there actually. But oh. Yeah, no. Oh my God, there was, yeah. it was so energy driven. Wasn't it? Oh my God. It was amazing. Yeah. There's such talent there and, and the instructors were amazing. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it opened a lot of doorways that I had already had two years at PNCA. Oh, you, you had? Yeah. Okay. So you, I, you, so you went from Oregon down there. You I guys, did. Oh, yeah. okay. Made a choice to, to get a degree that would actually allowed me to make a living. Okay, so you wanted you studied illustration as well? I went into illustration. Okay, yeah, me too. And that was, I think, I think that was the right choice because either you're painting or you're doing something that's commercial and driven. Right. You still have to learn the same tools. Oh, yeah, absolutely. The tools are the most important thing anyway. Yeah, the, the structure of of painting the, yeah. the whole thing and art center was amazing that way I mean all the all the academic stuff the head drawing head painting perspective yep. <laughs> it was intense the just color theory all of that stuff it oh was, yeah and great. I use a lot of that stuff oh. even now oh me too yeah it's me too invaluable stuff yeah. and I think it's if you're gonna go do it and pursue art in that way I think you need to really know and understand that the the foundation is going to be the that yeah. what gets you off the ground yeah that core what do you think about drawing we're both painters how much do you oh well i mean because there, there's this thing that you don't need to know how to draw to oh paint, no no, right? no 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 yeah yeah i know <laughs> you yeah. gotta know how to draw because yeah. you you can't mm -hmm. paint uh shapes and forms and unless you're going into an abstract field um, yeah, and but, even even so, I I don't know. I kind of disagree. Even if it's not disagree with you, but I I think even when you're an abstract painter, having the drawing skill is well. I think um, drawing it brought from the value aspect because you're only working in tonal mm -hmm. uh, realm. It allows you to see in volume. Yes, and yeah, painting. Yeah is an extension of that, but you're using color as an additive. And I think that's right. really, um, right. that's, that's the next step. Being able to um, depict volumes in space. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I was talking uh, yesterday, I did a little YouTube video about a Lauren Harris painting. And mm -hmm. I was, uh, much of what I was talking about is how he was very artfully, um, uh, described where things were in in the visual field in space in this you know on in the picture plane uh -huh. and that has to do with drawing yeah it really know? does yeah. mm -hmm. and if you think about just the linear aspect of 
things that are laying over on top of things, things mm -hmm. that, are, that are coming at you in perspective or disappearing in perspective. Yeah. It's yeah. all about size and scale and, mm -hmm. you know, learning to differentiate that. Yeah. Yeah. And with value and, and yeah. It's really yeah. So drawing, I think, yeah. is it's, it's the yeah. foundation. It always yeah. has been. And yeah. Yeah, with the computers now, boy, things seem to have gotten easier, I think. In terms of being able to lay out a, yeah. a grid, and, do you, know, you do you do that? No, 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 no. no. But oh. I know a lot of friends who who oh. are in CG, and mm -hmm. um, yeah. it's so easy to just click a button and it's gone or restart. Oh yeah, right. You know, recently I was um, had the opportunity to to do some VR. You know, virtual oh, wow. reality. Yeah. It was pretty intense. It was really fun. I've heard because that. you know you're 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 creating these these forms, and you can walk around them. That would be really interesting. Yeah, it's really interesting. But what um what I thought was really interesting about it was you know then I come back in the studio and I'm painting you know forms, uh -huh. and it was really helpful to me to do that VR because now I'm thinking about, oh, you know, actually there's moving, moving around those forms oh, and yeah. the spa in, the, in, in space. And, you know, we're depicting on a, you know, 2D plane, so but we're still, you know. You're sculpting in paint. Yeah. That would be really fun. Yeah, it was really, really, really interesting. Yeah, so, that, yeah. I can see that. But I, um, I, Felt like it informed my painting oh, to do yeah. it, so yeah, I'd highly recommend it if you ever oh, have a chance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was fun. No workshops in the plan right now. Oh, for VR? VR no. workshop? <laughs> no, no, I don't think so. Okay, I have this list of questions, so I better. Get All right, on let's the get list. to the questions. Okay, let's get on to our questions. So, 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 have you been painting the landscape since you graduated Art Center, or did that? How did that? You know, it. How did it, that? I have out? been. But off and on with a different uh, agenda. Okay. So in the very beginning, I was sort of like this pseudo environmentalist. Oh. I kind of came at it from, uh, well, we were coming back from Bend on a weekend, and you know, that stretch on Highway 20 coming down through. Uh, Oh, I forget exactly where it is, but it's uh, Jefferson area, kind of coming this way. Um, uh, before yeah, you get the... Oh, shoot, I wish I could remember the little Before town. Smith Watt Rock, or no? No, 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 that's oh. going the other way. Okay. Anyway, okay. coming back, I, I was just sort of floored by all the deforestation that oh, had been yeah, going on. Yeah. And they were slash burning what they had already cut down. And so the sky was this just weird, ominous sort of green oh, color. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then ahead of you, what used to be, be these beautiful stands of, you know, tall timber were all leveled to the ground. And I just, yeah. just it yeah. hit me yeah. like, oh, how could they do this? Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's when I started painting these sort of really dark, uh, effigies of oh. the remnants oh. of what they did and sort oh. of in a in a protest oh. to that and of course I, I, never I had knew had, that about your work oh that's, well yeah. no, that, I mean, you, you and I never talked about that no I just, <laughs> that's just how I got started mm -hmm. and then it sort of morphed uh, later on you know, over the years it it got lighter mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. a little more approachable Mm -hmm. Although most of the work I did sell out, um, still floating around out there somewhere. I don't oh, know where. That's not right. But mm -hmm. um, so what? What do you think made it move to that lighter direction? Do you think that that was age, or what? <laughs> or or did you <laughs> actually feel less better, entire? Less, well, yeah, uh, I think I, I made less, my statement. Okay. Yeah. You know, I yeah. think it's. I, I right wasn't on. gonna bury myself. Right. In the environmental, uh, you mm -hmm. know, movement with mm -hmm. you know, fighting corporations and mm -hmm. you know, uh, and mm -hmm. it's a way of life for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. foresting and logging and conservation. That's all kind of.
kind of intertwined. Yeah. And yeah. I moved on. Yeah. You know, I wanted I more know. color in my work. Yeah, I think, you know, I've definitely been gone through for myself stages where my work felt kind of dark and ominous. And, yeah. And then you, you then you then you need need color. You yeah. Need, you need something else. I guess that was my yeah. blue period. Mhm. Mm <laughs> yeah. 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 I've, I've done my share of painting scenes that are, are uh, no longer there. You know, it's kind of sad when you know that what you painted isn't... Doesn't exist isn't, anymore. Isn't there anymore, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and that was kind of what I was going after was... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's sort of a preservation of the mm -hmm. landscape and a statement. About but now we can paint there. things that are a little more cyclical. They come back. Yeah, right. They do. They do. Yeah. And that's kind of yeah, what that's... I'm doing now. But mm -hmm. that transition period was really bringing more color back into my painting and yeah. playing with composition and scale and yeah, uh, actually liking it. Yeah. You know? Right, right. Isn't that um, amazing that I was in, actually in my office doing something on the computer looking at some... Um, I don't even think it was my pain. I was maybe I was when I was working on the Lauren Harris uh, little little video. There was something in me, and I was like, "Oh, I'm so happy to be a painter," <laughs> and just oh wow, I get to you know, it, it's such a wonderful process, and and I it, I suddenly had this impulse to wow, I'm you know gonna paint. It's such a um, I don't know. This visceral thing almost, yeah. 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 Well, and the thing, the thing for me too sometimes is that you take nothing yeah. and you turn it into something. I know. And it's so either immediate, that's what I do like, is like you can approach something and then just, especially if you've got an idea and it just blasts out, mm -hmm. and then you've, you've done that. Yeah. And then you can hand that over. Right, I know. I always say that to my students that there's th three kinds of paintings. There's the ones that paint themselves and just like you said, just like, whoa. Yep. And then yep. there's this stuff sort of in between. And then there's <laughs> the ones that you really got out. And yeah. those, the ones that are paint themselves are usually good and the ones that I got out are pretty good, but the ones in between are the ones that... We paint over. Yeah. <laughs> They're kind of you know, mediocre. Yeah. But um, okay, so I have to um, keep going. So you, you, bring, so most of what you're bringing to art elements, they're oils. Are you bringing? It's in all oils. Oh, they're all oils. Yeah. Me too. I'm but not you've... set up for pastels anymore. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, you're not, you haven't abandoned them, have you? No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'm waiting to build the studio so I okay. can put a good HVAC system in there. Okay. And keep the air clean. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so messy with the pastels, and it oh okay because yeah, I'm yeah. blowing and things are flying and oh, yeah. uh, you know because yeah, your pastels I, I are see beautiful. It. I can yeah. see it. Yeah, I mm -hmm. I miss doing them. I miss the immediacy of it. Yeah, that's the one thing that that yeah. you know that's so fast. Yeah, they're super fast. Yeah, but I have to say, I um, I went out and painted plein air a couple weeks ago when we had a like a nice warm afternoon. Oh yeah yeah. And I brought my oils. How'd that feel? I love <laughs> I just like that rig better than the pastel rig to go outdoors painting. Did so, you have the carry along with wheels, the tote? No, all your I stuff? have a I have a um like a pochade on a tripod. Oh okay, yeah. So I don't know. That's what I'm going to focus on. Oh, you're going to do more can... outdoor painting. I am, and I'm going to do more oils outdoors this summer. Have you tried the fast mat colors yet? No. What's so that? So Gamlin has an outdoor... It's Fast mat is the name they've given it. Um, it's an oil paint that dries super fast. Like how fast? Like real fast. Like you're done in a it's done in a day. Oh, really? Yeah. But but not so fast that you can't work it. Obviously, you can work it. Yeah, you can work it. What's there. it feel like? It is it. How is it different than the regular oil? It's not as fluid. 
Okay. But it because it's drying mm -hmm. quicker. Yeah. But if you wanted to add a little bit of extender or uh, a little bit more oil, you can keep it more. Okay. Um, the viscosity is a little bit better right. uh, to work slower. But I like to work fast anyway. So, so is that what you use all I the time? Pretty much. No, I use about a 50 50, okay. the fast mat. I think can it has you, more galcad in can it. Can you mix them? Yeah, you can. Oh. I do. Oh, wow. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. That's, so a, like that's the, really, yeah. The white. The white. Do you I use the fast use, mat? No. Oh, no. Okay. I use the other pigments. Uh, it would be the fast mat, and then for the the white, I kind of let that become be the, the lubricator oh, to kind of okay. keep it a little bit longer. Oh, excellent! I'm gonna give that a try. You guys just give that a try. Yeah, yeah, give it a try. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's like cool. That. <laughs> um, God, that's interesting. Okay, so what else do I have here? Oh, I I have a question for you because this this happens to me a lot. Okay. Um, when you see other artists work that you admire and you know you and I both have come from that illustration background we can kind of probably go in any direction that we really want to yeah. do yeah we could go um, are you ever tempted do you see something oh I could do that and that looks really oh, I cool copy and, all the time yeah I do yeah and it's not to sell it's not right it's just for my own Right, to challenge. to challenge yourself. It's like, how did he yeah. get that texture? What did he do? Was it the was it the yeah. medium or was it the the substrate? And then you, tr and it's mm -hmm. sort of a process of tearing things apart, putting it back together. Yeah, and yeah. Then, Just a curiosity. Yeah, it's yeah. a curiosity. And I yeah, think you, yeah. You've got to be curious. I think you have to be curious. And don't you also think that that um, copying? I mean, that's such a time time honored way of learning to paint. I mean, people have done it for forever and... Um, what was the old that's... saying? Uh, good artists borrow, great artists steal. <laughs> oh, really? I don't, know. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I, I, I don't yeah. go there, yeah. but... Yeah, no, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Something like that. But but I think, you know, honestly, we're, we're all sort of taking bits from one another. Yeah, and, yeah, and absolutely. All, um, we yeah, we so. probably learn more through other people yeah. than if you were just locked away in a box somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that it, that would be... <laughs> uh, my right, problem, right. and it's not even really a problem, but when I have students, um, they want to be you. Yeah. There's where the problem in my mind is. They want to do what you're doing and keep yeah. almost replicating your work. I think that, you know, of course, I do a lot of teaching, and I think that, um, you know, I have the same thing. They want to paint like I paint. But yet there is still, but there's something they're yearning for their own style. Find their voice. Finding their own thing. But so I, I always tell students that, you know, you may find yourself copying me for a bit, but you just kind of got to let things sort of percolate and... You find your own um, way to your your own. Unique yeah, and I don't mind method. people doing that. Yeah, yeah. I I just when you I try to either. sell it or market it as your work, when it's really not your work. Yeah. That's where yeah. the issue for me comes in. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you just I figured most people want the original, not the Xerox. Yes, <laughs> right. It's kind of how I look at it, so I just let it go. That's right. I. I don't usually, typically, I don't worry about students copying me because I feel pretty confident in my own. Yeah. You know. Well, you've been doing it a while, yeah. so you've, you've yeah. got a base. I do. Yeah. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit about, we'll, we'll wrap up here, but tell me a little bit about what you're bringing to the gallery. Um, and are you, are, you, are you taking your work on Friday? Is that your plan? I think it's Saturday. Okay. I'm trying to kind of get my schedule uh, worked out. Um, but I'll, everything's done. Yeah. It's just, yeah. do, when do I want to make that trip back in there? And yeah. I, I yeah. thought it's the second and third, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's this weekend. Friday and Saturday? Yeah. I have to put the wires on mine. Is it Sunday? That's what I, 
Sunday is not an option? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, we good. could call them. I yeah. bet it is. But, yeah, I still have to put all the wires on the backs of mine. So. But, then, well, I but I'm, done. I'm done. I'm done. The that. painting is done. Yeah, the painting is done. Uh, I had to call it. I wanted to finish that one that's over there on the easel up there, but then I, it wasn't going to dry in time, oh. so I just couldn't quite pull it off. That's oil, right? Yeah. 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 And I couldn't, I couldn't get it dried and varnished and all set to go in time. So. What kind of varnish do you use? I'm using a Doug Gambler. Gambler? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I do mean, you, I could have, but... Do you paint or do you use the Gamasol? With that? I use Gamsol. Okay, yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever tried to actually rub out the painting with the Gamasol? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I always thought that was the coolest idea. What? To, what do you mean? So if once you've varnished it with mm -hmm. the with the varnish, the yeah. Gambar, yeah. you can use the Gamasol to remove the varnish. Yeah. And then you can go back in and repaint. Oh, right. That's just right. something I've always thought was... Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, I, I have, like that. I haven't ever done that, but I, I yeah. do that on my little ones. Oh, oh, the little ones. That would be cool on the little ones. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. studies that I do, yeah. uh, which sometimes end up being magnified into the bigger pieces. Right. Yeah. Uh, Me too. I do the same thing. I yeah. like the that. So my paintings are like this. Oh yeah. Well, look at so see so those little ones. Yeah, like like that one that's that road, the pathway but, in the yeah, middle, the and, the, and the, the so there's the yellow one and the one right below it. Uh huh. I think that would make a good big painting. It would. Yeah. So. And that's why I like doing the small yeah, ones because yeah. then you know. Yeah, yeah, right. You got it all worked out, and so it, and, and I, just rock and roll. <laughs> somebody was asking me, it's like, why do you like to paint small? And I said, well, in my mind, they're not small. Yeah, they're not small. They're big. They're big. It's, and and you can do them really quickly and see what's working and yeah. and I love that too. And you build a composition, yeah. you get the colors down. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing about working those small is that I don't I'm not they're not precious to me. I haven't I haven't made a huge investment either in my time or materials. Mm -hmm. So I can I can really be loose and free with them. Yep. I just and run through that and then move on to the next one. And so then I might have, you know, six little paintings and, oh, you know, two or maybe just one yeah. is suitable for a larger composition. Don't you find that when you have abandoned all of your paranoia about making it right? Oh, yes. That you have better oh. experience and a better painting. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. That is... It's the key best. You to, the perfectionist to, yeah. mentality. Also, uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of these videos for the YouTube channels, my YouTube channel, and or my lessons. And when I'm, when I let go of that as well, and I just, well, I, I can still have the camera on, but I'll put my headphones in and like ignore that I'm. Trying, um. trying to perform, <laughs> then I'm, you know, I just can just go through, go, yeah. go, 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 and yeah. it's much better. I think There's that, a marked difference in my paintings from being, you know, making a lesson or m making a product yeah. and just painting. And I've, I've noticed, too, that when you're in that mode of production, yeah. You know, and you're actually painting to kind of fill a void or a, or yeah. a market. Yeah. Um, they they don't always seem to hit the mark no. or even feel good. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to something that you just busting just, out. Yeah. When you just get into the zone and you allow everything to come and happen, it's a better painting. It is better. And don't you think that that's such an argument for if you have a show coming up that you should really allow yourself plenty of time to develop yeah. a body of work and not be under that intense pressure? You have to have... Mm. Well, I mean, I think there's a certain... For me, I'm, I'm motivated by you know, deadlines and pressure, but, but I have to... But within that framework of you know, my calendar, I have to have some permission time yeah. to like 
you know, let things sort of Oh, I agree. Stew. I agree. But there is something to be said about stress and pressure. Yeah. It forces mm -hmm. you out of your comfort zone and into yeah. another zone. Yeah. Um, well, the, the, we're talking about two kind of paradoxical kinds of things, <laughs> Garrett, you know, know, but it all swims together, I think. Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. for, for me, even though I tend to be a little more procrastinating than I should be. Do you? <laughs> um, I'm really good at that, too. Uh, when I feel the power of the stress, when I know that, all right, I'm kicking myself in the butt to get going, mm -hmm. then I'm motivated to just un to turn everything off and then just oh, be I the see. conduit. Oh, I see. And let oh, the right. energy let flow it. through I me. Know. Yeah, you have to be the con. It just you know you have to do that. I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 a it's a beautiful thing. It's worth, it doesn't. It, it doesn't happen without that. No, it doesn't. Yeah, that's. Cool. Okay. Well, I think that that's wonderful. I'm excited to see what you're oh, going to yeah. be bringing to the gallery. It's going to be a beautiful show. I oh, think. I think it yeah. is. And uh, um, so everyone come and join us. The opening is on when is the, oh March 10th at Art Elements Gallery from 4 to 6 p.m. I'll be there. Wait, March. March 10th, artist reception. Oh, that's but the starts on the sixth. It starts on the show starts opens on the sixth, but the opening. And are you gonna, you guys gonna be there? Yeah, we're gonna. Uh, we're trying to figure out a place to stay. Oh, okay. Four. So that is four to six. Hey, Lori, come here. Come on. This is Lori, Jeff's 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 wife. Yeah. Hi. Thanks. Hello. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Thanks. My better half. Man. Thanks. Thanks, you guys, for um, coming. And Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, so I'm excited to see it. everything hung. It'll be, it'll yeah, be really great. Yeah, it should yeah. be really interesting. And they've yeah. redone the place, so and I haven't seen yeah. it yet. So yeah, They're really nice people, and it's, oh, I think it's a beautiful absolutely. venue. So, right. Absolutely. Okay, well, thanks for coming. Thank you. All right, all right. 